That's why we're here. You know what? If people don't talk, nothing happens. Nothing changes. When people see the name of Jesus, they're drawn to it or they run a mile for some reason. But you don't have to. Be drawn. Open your heart. Be drawn by the living God to the name of Jesus and be drawn to what he has done for you. For he loves you people. He cares for you. For every one of you. If you're the last person on earth, he loves you. Come and talk. Come and talk to me. Listen, come and talk. How are you going? Good. Anybody Christians here? Sort of. Hey, listen, when I was a really little guy, I thought I was a Christian. I'm not saying it's you. I was in the Catholic Church. Anybody Catholics? Sort of, sort of. I used to be an altar boy, you know, that helped the, helped the priest. And one day someone said, are you a Christian? I said, yeah. Mum and Dad were Christian. I went to a Christian school. I read the Bible. And I put my hands like that and they went, no. I said, what are you talking about? No, I got really upset because I was little. And they said, I said, why did you say no? And they said, only what Jesus did and said gets you a pass to heaven. And I said, okay, what do you say and do? When they told me, it completely rocked my socks off. But I got them back. Okay? <laughs> That's my dad joke. I get a bit of a laugh. It's okay. But seriously, Jesus said, John chapter 3, verse 3 in the Bible. He said, unless you're born of his spirit, you cannot enter heaven. Think about that. Walking around cannot enter heaven. Why is that a problem? I looked on the internet yesterday, you can look yourself, 166,000 people died yesterday in the world. That's a lot of people. And every day through 2023, 60 million of them. And I thought, if I don't know when I'm going to die, and we don't, right? Nobody does. At least know where you're going to be. Does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. He wants to get it right in your life today. Just give me one minute of your time, girls. This is so important. God wants to do something in your life to make you safe. Okay, because you don't know when you pass from this earth. He's going to make it safe. So, all right, I'm going to go quickly because I can see you want to go away. But he is asking you today to ask him into your life. He's knocking on the door of your life and he says, if you hear his voice, open the door. He said, I'll come in, I'll wash away all your sin. I'll give you my righteousness. Big word means no sin. When God looks at you with no sin on you and none in heaven, you get a pass. Isn't that good? But it's not automatic. If it was automatic, all these people would be jumping around saying, we're all safe, going to heaven. I wouldn't need to be here talking to you. I could be down at Brighton the Sands having a coffee. God loves you, right? He's got a divine appointment with you today. He's brought you here. He knew you'd be here. He knew I would be here, right? So I'm going to go quick now. He's knocking on the door of your life and he says, if you hear his voice, open the door. He said, I'll come in. I'll wash away all your sin. I'll give you my righteousness and you'll be safe in his hand no matter what. Isn't that a good deal? Yeah? Pray with me, girls. Let's do it. Let's ask Jesus right now. Ask Jesus. Just pray with me. Ten second prayer and you're on your way. Just hold me. This is what happened. And, this, and listen, this is when everyone starts laughing. But don't worry about it because God sees your heart, okay? Now you bow your head and you say this to God, right? Look away to Jesus, not me. And you say, Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus into my life. Come in and wash away all my sin. Give me your righteousness. I believe you died for me. And that you rose again. I give you my life. I turn away from my sin. And according to your word, I am born of your spirit. Born of your spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen. <laughs> listen, girls. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Let me tell you. I cannot promise you anything. But the God who created you and heaven and earth and everything in it makes you a promise. You know what he says? Nobody can ever pluck you from his hand. He's got you safe, all right? Hey, listen. Anybody got a phone today? This is a YouTube channel. I'll tell you what you can see on there. In the last six months, listen to this one, girls. I'm going to let you go soon. In the last six months, we've been out on the street, 3,100 young people like you have given their heart to Christ. I'm Mike with the, did you see it on there? Mike with the, Mike, okay? Mike with the mic. I'm your 70 year old big brother in Christ, okay? This is for you, right? Thank it's you the Gospel so of John, so Gospel of John. Now listen, get to know Jesus, visit with him. And this track tells you a little bit more about you giving your heart to Jesus. So important, girls, all right? Yes. He loves you so much. 
thank you for pulling up. That's very, very respectful and very nice. And listen, if you see us around, you've got friends with you, you can come up and we'll pray with them too, yes. right? But share that link with as many people as you can. One last thing, I'll tell you why. Somebody, if you share the link with them, they'll hear the gospel on there, they'll give their heart to Jesus, and when up in heaven, they'll say, hey, you share that link with me. I got saved, I got saved, and I am safe in heaven with you. Thank you so much. Yep. You see? Yep. God bless you. God bless I'll do it this way. God bless you. God bless you. All right. See you, girl. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.